In this video, we are going to go over the six things you can do today that are super fast to get your website ranking higher on Google. If we haven't met before, hi, my name is Becca. I am an cheerleader for entrepreneurs as well as a website designer. I love serving people through website in a day and I have a couple different Squarespace and SEO courses. Okay, let's dive in and flip the screen over. The first thing that you can do, which will make a world of difference is adding your keyword phrase to the footer of your website. So let's look at this client, um, Naomi, they are a nonprofit and they work with children enduring trauma as well as women. So right here in their footer, they say providing support, direction and healing for women and children enduring trauma. This is their keyword phrase um, in a couple different forms and combined into a nice sentence and by putting this in their footer, they are now putting it on their homepage, their about page, their all of these pages. So it's a great way for you to insert a quick thing and it will, because your footer is on every page, it'll come across every single page. Um, if you want to look at my website, you can see I did it down here. Show it, uh, website designer plus Squarespace course creator. Right there, those are two keyword phrases that um, I knew I could rank for and I've added them to every single page. So before we go any further, I just want to stop and say, if you haven't figured out your keyword phrases, I will link um, a video below that shows you my strategy, but this is really important. It's kind of the main thing you have to do prior to all the other things I'm going to mention. Um, and that's figuring out that keyword phrase and then putting them on your website in like the title tags and in the meta descriptions. Um, so if you haven't done that, that would be like my first suggestion, but these are just little tweaks, assuming you've done that, little tweaks you can do to your website. So what's the next thing that you can do? Keep your titles under 60 characters. So right here, if you search website in a day, I pop up and this is my title tag. Um, this is could be a uh, more broad for some people. So you could even put like website in a day and then a line and put Rebecca Re Creative or your business name. Um, this is all I wanted. And then right here, you want to have a meta description, preferably that's under like 160 characters. If it goes longer, you're going to see something like this where it says dot, dot, dot. So try to keep that a little bit shorter. Again, adding in your keyword phrases. So Squarespace or show it. Um, website would be a keyword phrase for me. And then DIY their website. That's something that I'm using throughout my website content as well. So now that your titles are under 60 characters and your meta descriptions are under 160 characters, I would definitely suggest going in and looking at your images sizes. So you may have just uploaded your images willy nilly. And if those images are too large, they are going to really slow down your website. And so especially on like long sales pages, you want to make sure that those images are compressed. You, there's tons of platforms that you can do this. You can do them natively in your you know, MacBook or whatever. Um, Tiny PNG is a free one. And then once you've done that, you can always go to Google page, um, page speed insights and test and just see what your site's load time is. And that will also give you some tips on how to make it faster. Again, this is something that you could take hours doing. I would say focus on one page, focus on your homepage, or if you have a sales page, that's a main thing. Focus on just that page and then look at those images and make sure they're under one megabyte. Tip number four is to add relevant internal links. So this is actually the blog post related to this video. And if you look right here, it says read more. And I wrote out the entire um, blog that you could click on. And I would just say when you do that, make sure you're also making it open in a new tab so that they can stay on the blog post. It's really annoying if they click on it and then they go out of your blog post. So have it open in a new tab. But yeah, put read more and put that full description. So let's say you want to link them to your contact page instead of saying click here or contact, say contact, you know, Nashville wedding photographer or whatever your keyword phrase is. Um, I would say add two to three internal links to each page pointing to that high quality content, especially in the era of chat GPT, like Google knows and they want to see that high quality content that's going to bump you up further in rankings. Tip number five is to add alt text to images. There are many different ways to do this. I just do it honestly right on, like I have my image on my desktop, whether it's a screenshot or it says IMG underscore one, two, three. And then I just click on it and change it to whatever my keyword phrase is. Um, but you can also, I'll show you on Squarespace and show it how you can do this. So if you are on your page and you have some images, let's double click that image. 
And right here, you can change that um, file name. So of course, you want to make sure it is um, very descriptive. So whether it's wedding, elopement, you know, Tennessee or whatever it is. And then you can also change that image alt text. And then in show it, the way you can do this is click on your image. And then over here, it says image. And you can change this title as well as adding alt text. Um, and then, of course, make sure you click publish. And finally, tip number six is updating and refreshing old content. So Google loves fresh, relevant content. And if you have an old blog post um, that is or isn't performing well, you can do both. I would definitely say just look and see are there ways that you can improve it, whether it's with new tips or current trends. Um, or what I've been doing is as I've really started to dig more into keyword research, figuring out, okay, now I have these keyword phrases. Are there places I can put them super organically in the content of that blog post? So, and then you can always just republish it um, once it's updated. And why, why is this worth your time, right? Because Instagram is such a fun platform. You get that dopamine hit. But how many of you guys, when you get on Instagram, you, your goal is maybe to create a content a reel, but all of a sudden you're scrolling through reels, getting ideas, but the algorithm is changing. Like it ends up taking so much more time. And what I've noticed about SEO is although it is a long-term game, it takes some initial setup, it ends up being less time spent. And for me, I took two, three and a half month maternity leaves in a matter of a couple of years. And having this be able to work on the back end once because it was already set up, I was continuing to get leads to my Squarespace courses, to my website and a day services, which I could then book them out. Um, and so it's definitely worth your time to try to improve your Google rankings. And I really hope you'll add it to your strategy. If you're like, I have no idea how to do SEO anything, you're not alone. I have a Squarespace SEO course. It is Squarespace specific. If you are on Show It, I have a Show It SEO course I'm going to put it below um, that I 100% recommend by Digital Grace Design. She's brilliant. And so I'll link it below. And I do have a coupon code for that. But I have a Squarespace SEO course. And I dive into everything I just taught you plus more. I dive into that keyword research strategy. I dive into where to put those keywords on your Squarespace website, as well as my blogging strategy and taking that blog and repurposing it using my pig full strategy. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it below and let me know if you guys have any other SEO related questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you.